So after natin ma-review ang the real iPhone 14 Pro Max, nakakita tayo sa online, sa Facebook, sa isang seller na sinasabi niya meron siyang binibentang iPhone 14 Pro Max Master Copy. So naintriga ako dito. No? So sabi mo, Master Copy? So nag-inquire ako. And the price is really cheap. 5,800 pesos only. Halos kasi yung presyo lang isang Narzo 50i. So, nag-trigger ako and nabili ko to sa seller. And sinabi naman niya, honestly sa akin, this is not the real deal and it's just a class A copy na halos kuhang-kuha niya. So, how about, buksan natin. Hi guys, ako pala si Rich Muna, Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel, iPhone 14 Pro Max, Master Copy. Disclaimer, I'm not promoting piracy here on my channel. I just want to try it out. Kung ano ka man meron dito sa phone na ito, na sobrang mura. In my past video, nakapag-review tayo ng Apple na Watch Ultra na Master Copy as well as Apple AirPods Pro 2 na Master Copy din. And halos kuhang-kuha nila. No? And the price is really jaw-dropping. And this time around, pati phone meron. So, and this unit is sealed. And I can say na yung pati box, kopyang-kopya, no? it's halos like the real deal. If hindi ka marunong tumingin, pwede mo pagkamalan na tunay pa nga ito. No, alam naman natin ang original Apple, wala nang shrink film. Ito, well, naka-shrink film pa siya. Like any Android phones. So right now, i-unbox muna natin. So guys, ito na yung master copy ng iPhone 14 Pro Max. And makita natin, the box is almost the same sa the real deal. So, dalagang binigyan nila ng effort tong box na ito. No? Kahit box lang siya, pinaganda nila. Nakita natin on the side, halos pareho, no? hindi talaga siya nagkakatalo. Unless na napanood nyo full review ko ng The Real Deal, mapapansin mo mas maraming sulat dito ang tunay na iPhone 14 Pro Max. And plus ang The Original One, wala rin siyang plastic na seal. So buksan natin. So yan, guys, tanggal na natin. And like any iPhone na unboxing, kailangan mo ipil to, no? The same lang sila, pipilas lang natin, no? But for me, I could... But for me, gusto ko lang siya tanggalin like this way para ma-maintain siya. So, yan, bubuksan na natin. Oops! <laughs> Kita natin, no? Siya pala, medyo iba na siya. So, tanggalin natin. Kita natin, yung design na sa likod is a little bit different from the usual na iPhone 40 Pro Max. But once na tinanggal mo itong film na ito, makikita mo na it's just like the real deal. Eh, sa harap niya, no, mukha yung tunay nga dalaga. So, peel off mo na natin ito. And inside the, so, and inside the box, kita natin, meron din siyang C to lightning cable. Now, alam ko guys na itong phone package ni iPhone 14 Pro Max, the master copy, it doesn't come with a charger. Kinopia rin niya ang original na iPhone 14 Pro Max. But of course, there's always a charger that I always recommend here on my channel. And it came from you, Green. And this one, ang tawag niya, is the Nexo Mini 30 watts the charger. Now, you can always use it on charger na ito wherever you go. It's very light. It's very easy to bring along. Kahit, I don't know, kahit mumurahin lang yung phone, I would always recommend you using a very nice charger para sa inyong protection din. And I only trust CU Green as one of my favorite charger dito. And sakto lang siya, no? Very small, very handy. And there's other accessories na meron din si U-Green, no? Na pwede nang bilhin. I have some protective case dito that will fit si iPhone 14 Pro Max na yung master copy. Mga cases like this one, it added protection. Or gusto nyo medyo mas simple ang design, you can always opt for mga solid colors like this one. Meron din mga U-Green na tempered glass which you can always add some protection. Well, it's always a welcoming addition sa inyong mga favorite na phones, no? Even though it's just a master copy. How about some extra protection like tempered glass? Okay din to. If you want to know kung saan pwede mabili mga to, link on the description. Meron din siya designed by Apple in California. Yan natin ko ng laman, no? Ang kulang lang siguro na dito is wala siya yung sticker na mansanas. And meron siya yung SIM ejector tool. Probably hula ko nga, baka nga dual SIM ito eh. Tingnan natin. Mukha nga siyang dual SIM guys, no? Kasi dalawa ang ano niya, slot dito, sa harap. And 
isa sa likod. Hindi siya katulad ng iPhone na nakikita ko, no? Na single SIM lang kaya. So, tanggalin mo na natin to film sa likod. Ayun. It looks a lot better. A lot more like it. Diba? Ito yung tunay na color ng iPhone 14 Pro Max. Boot up na kaya natin. Apple din. Kita nyo, pag boot up, parang iPhone din, no? Bonjour. Hello. Yan. Yan yung mga makikita mo talaga sa mismong iPhone. But of course, yung kanyang resolution is not as nice as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So, what kaya natin? And, well, well, the interface, eh, alam na natin. Try natin set up. So, medyo talagang kinokopya niya ang I iOS na 16, na. So, let's just start. So, feel naman natin na, na it's a little bit more of a Android feel. So, continue lang natin. Ba? iCloud pa siyang nalalaman, no? So, well, I'm not quite sure about this one. Asking for my Apple ID. Hindi ko lang sa ito pupunta, no? So, may iPhone analytics pa siya, oh. Ba? Talagang kopyang-kopya niya, ah. Ito, iba na. Mag-feel mo. And pagpasok mo, no? It's like the real deal. Ba? This is really something. No? So, makita natin ito floating na to. This is not so iPhone-ish. And I'll be honest with you guys, no? Na halos, halos kuha niya, no? Yung feel ng iPhone. But of course, siyempre iba yung the real deal. But yung, yung effort, yung amount of effort na binigyan na dito sa phone na ito, no? I can say na it's almost like the real deal at a very, very, very discounted price. And of course, don't expect yung performance would be exactly the same. Medyo, I would tell you na from the start, malayo ang, ano, yung, yung feel if you're using the real iPhone 14 Pro Max and hawak mo ito, mafe-feel mo. But if you're coming over from Android, eh, hindi mo naman alam po anong feeling ng iPhone. Baka, maloko ka pa na itong phone na ito. Kita natin, no? pati itong interface, no? talagang, wow, kinopian nila. Kaya natin kung iOS 16.2 din nga ba siya. Uy, hayop, iPhone 16.0.2 din siya, oh. And ito, ito is one of the indication na hindi siya tunay na iPhone. Kasi wala naman Google Play Store sa loob na isang iPhone, di ba? And I can see na masyadong sluggish ang phone na ito. Um, yung feel niya is a little bit really slow as compared to the real deal. Now, I can say na this is probably uh, using is mga processor na medyo mumurahin. So, I'll be checking a little bit later kung ano nga mga processor ang gamit na ito, no? So, we'll be discovering it. For the meantime, check mo natin ang updates. Baka maging iOS 16.2 siya. So, meron siya new version. Just download. Let's see. Okay, let's get down to business. Buksan mo na natin yung phone na ito for... Just demonstration purpose para makita natin, no? kita natin pag boot up, it's the Apple logo. Tama naman siya, no? wala naman mali. And I can say na itong copy nito, it's really knockoff na knockoff siya. Almost 95% proof na you can say this is the Apple na iPhone 14 Pro Max. But if you pay a little bit more sa mga details, sasabihin ko sa inyo later, mapapansin nyo no? na this one is definitely hindi the real deal. So, makita mo pagsimula na iOS starting. So, it's a heavily customized na Android to make it look like just the real deal. And to my surprise, nagkakaroon pa siya ng update to iOS 16.2. And, and makita mo yung lock screen niya is almost the same. It's a real deal. So, when you swipe up, kita na no, halos pareho, di ba? I mean, it's really the knock of copy. Sobrang kuhang-kuha niya eh. Like the real deal. And pag nag-charge ka, yung pati dynamic island, makita mo na ito charge natin using the uh, original cable. So, ayun no? Yan, charging. Di ba? I mean, it's like the real deal. I mean, sobra siyang kopyang-kopya. And the price is really jaw-dropping. Nakuha ko around mga 6,000 pesos. And I was just scrolling sa phone ko looking for some accessories ng iPhone 14 Pro Max and I stumbled upon this one. I'll be linking on the description box below para makita niyo kung saan ko nabili. And this shop is really legit. 
But the seller was honest to me naman na hindi siya the real iPhone Pro Max na alam natin. And it's just a master copy. Pero I was really shocked makita to na dalagang kopya ang kopya siya. No? And the first thing na notice ko dito is this one. Ito yung kakaiba sa the real deal. No? So hindi siya ganito dun sa tunay na iPhone 14 Pro Max. But the rest is almost the same. Wala akong makita ng ibang loophole no? except this one. Itong LED flash niya. Another loophole na makikita mo is this one is screen protected kasi ang the real Apple na iPhone wala siyang screen guard, wala screen protector nakasama. So moving inside dito sa phone na ito, matutuwa ka no kasi dalagang kuhang-kuha niya. Ako to be honest, I was really mesmerized with the way this was copied from a near 90,000 pesos phone down to just near 6,000 pesos. I mean, really, it's a shocker. Eh, ku quickly tutor ko lang kayo dito kung ano capabilities meron dito sa phone na ito. So, babasahin na natin yung description ng seller, no? So, meron siyang uh, dynamic island, may Apple ID daw siya, then, of course, pareho naman ng accessories and cases niya and tempered glass niya sa the real iPhone 14 Pro Max, may Face ID daw siya, oh. 512 gig display. Ang display na 6.7 inch uh, na 60 hertz. So, dun pa lang, alam natin, hindi na siya tunay. May light mode and dark mode. May smooth 3D touch. I wonder what it means. Meron siyang camera na 32MP plus 24MP and I'm not quite sure about that. Meron din siyang Apple 16 Bionic and 4000mAh ang ganyang battery. And of course, uh, it comes with a lot of colors. Gold, the purple, black, and white color. And so, ito ang price na nakuha natin, $6,499. And nung nakuha ko to sa sale, it's a lot, lot lower. Now, we'll just try to quickly navigate through this one. And this is a customized na Android, no? Na it was really must to let you believe that, well, it's an iPhone. Checking some settings over here. Nakapasa sa mga Apple ID. And checking some of these, uh, well, apps. It's almost like the real deal. Pag tinignan mo sa about phone, dito ka mabibili. Ang pangalan ng phone niya is iPhone. Ang version ay 16.2. Ayan, nag-update siya. Kasi nung dumating to, 16.0.2. Nung nagkaroon siya ng software update, naging 16.2 na siya. Ang model na, iPhone 14 Pro Max. Tama naman, serial number and blah, blah, blah. And titignan natin, no? Uh, it has 512 gigs of storage. And available niya, niya is around 50 gigs. I'm not sure kung ano mga in-install na dito na sobrang bigat. And Hanep, meron pa siya limited warranty. Oh. Mag-expire siya sa November 16, 2023. Lupit. Ito phone na ito can do anything just like a normal iPhone can do. But of course, there are some of the apps na hindi gumagana kasi hindi naman siya talaga iOS. Now, one of the things na mapapansin mo pagpasok mo ng App Store, it's looking like the App Store, pero sobrang limited lang ang mga pwede mo i-download dito Dahil it's basically a Google Play Store na nakamass into a Apple App Store. Which is pretty impressive. Na, I don't know how they did it, but napahanga lang dalaga ako sa kanila. So if we search some apps like, well, try natin si Call of Duty Mobile, hindi siya lalabas. Okay? So yan, Call of Duty Mobile, wala lalabas, no? Yung game, lalabas sa mga messenger, mga naka-pre-install dito uh, na pwede mo download Very limited lang mga apps na pwede mo ma-download dito. And what I did dito is you can use either Aurora Store or you can just download the APK and manually install it yourself. Like ito mga nilagay ko, like TikTok, Gcash, uh, CPU-Z, and Device Info Hardware. Checking the weather app, it's like the real deal. And pwede mo select ang iyong city, depende kung nasaan ka. One of the things na napansin ko dito sa kanyang battery, hindi siya ganun katumatagal. No? So roughly, mga half day pa lang. Medyo bawas-bawas ng battery on just simply normal usage. Probably medyo heavy lang siya talaga siya, no? Kung dating sa battery consumption dito sa phone na ito. Uh, but, well, one whole day, I don't think kain ng tumagal na one whole day. Now, one of the good things na dito sa phone na ito, if you watch YouTube, it's just like watching on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Except, siguro hindi super retina ang kanyang screen. It's just a IPS LCD. Now, if you check naman yung mga videos dito, I can watch up to 1080p naman na mga videos dito. And I can say, okay naman ang kanyang resolution. Wala namang naging problema. So, I watch a couple of films dito. Okay naman siya. Just don't expect na sobrang ganda ang kanyang quality. It's watchable. But overall, I can say, okay lang. 
Now, you can freely use some of the apps like Gcash, Facebook, Messenger, TikTok. Kain ka naman yung iran dito, walang problema. Now, browsing on social media, I can see na medyo sometimes of feel mo nagahang siya konti, no? Medyo parang nagkakaroon siya ng frame drops. Medyo hindi siya ganun ka-smooth if you take a good look at it. Kahit mabilis ang internet na kinonect mo, but, well, I can say medyo nalalag siya konti, no? When you're swiping dito sa mga social media like Facebook and TikTok. Now, mapapansin mo, pagdating naman dito sa TikTok, Uh, there are some times na parang medyo nagsistutter din siya ng konti. Parang naglo-loading siya, gano'n ang feel. But pag nakaload naman ng maayos yung video, okay naman siya. Now, checking a little bit deeper dito sa CPU-Z, makita natin, no, ang ano niya, it's a MediaTek na Apple A16. Which is quite funny. Kasi wala naman such thing as MediaTek na Apple A16. And makita natin, no, na this one is being run by Cortex-A7, which we know is probably a uh, MediaTek na processor. Na pagdating naman sa kanyang uh, device, you can see na it's an iPhone 14 Pro Max and manufactures Apple A16. Which is kind of crazy. Ang kanyang RAM is 8 gigs, Which is, I'm not sure no, kung totoong 8 gigs nga ba siya. And internal storage is 512. Ang system niya is, well, 16.2 na iOS. Ang battery niya is, well, no information but basically it's uh, just showing us kung ilang percent lang meron na, ng battery natin. Checking some thermals and checking some sensors. Now, papansin mo sa kanya dito sa phone nito when you swipe on this side, it's just like the real deal. Ganun na ganun talaga iOS na 16.2 when you drag down dito, ito rin na makita mo on a the real deal sa iPhone na iOS 16.2. And what's really nice dito sa phone nito is supports dalawang SIM card, dalawang 4G na nano SIM, which the original na iPhone cannot support hanggang isang 5G SIM ng kaya ni Apple. Swiping over to this other side, kita natin mga widgets na, well, exactly the same din kung ano nakita mo sa iPhone. Now, checking some photos dito, I'm not quite sure kung anong sensor meron na dito sa phone na ito, but overall, if you take a quick look outdoors, uh, it can take in some decent shots from the rear camera outdoors. And hindi naman siya super duper impressive, but I can see that it can handle pictures like any five to six thousand pesos phone can do. And you can see na yung kanyang zoom, it can go out to three times zoom like this one. Pero hindi siya ganang kaganda ang kanyang mga quality. Now, taking some uh, indoor shots, okay naman siya. Well, not impressive, but it gets the job done. Using the front-facing camera, okay naman siya. Pero hindi lang ako super impressed sa kanyang front-facing camera dahil medyo may times na medyo wash out. And pag zoom in mo, makita mo medyo soft ang mga pictures. But sa indoors naman, I can see na medyo hirap lang talaga siya sa mga indoor lighting. So yeah, ang front-facing camera is not really that good. And check this video na kuha ko from the front-facing camera. So guys, this is the resolution we'll be getting if you're using the iPhone 14 Pro Max Master Copy taking, well, vlog using the front-facing camera. And I'm not quite sure what resolution this is. And probably it's just a 1080p and 30fps. It's a little bit dark even though it's a little bit bright out there. I just have to adjust my camera just to find the perfect lighting. So, well, at least it's still decent for me. Now guys, ano masasabi ko dito sa phone na ito? Well, to be honest with you, it's a very basic na Android phone. And the price point is just right. Nasa mga around 6,000 pesos. It's really friendly, no? Now, ano masasabi ko dito sa phone na ito when it comes to overall experience? I can say na it can give you that iOS experience on an Android. Now, uh, given that it looks niya is almost the same, so the real deal, lahat accessories pwede mo gamitin dito. For me, ah, Maganda to pang forma. If you're the type of person that doesn't want to spend huge money on iPhone, but of course, I recommend you buy the real deal. And gusto lamang forma, no, sa yung chicks. I think this one is a good one. Si iPhone 14 Pro Max na master copy. Pwede mo siyang bilhin. And pang forma mo lang, no, going to the club, going to uh, to on a date. May hawak ang iPhone. Iba ang dating, no. But of course, I, I don't really promote dito ng mga piracy, no? But it's a really nice phone to try on. Kasi na-try na natin Apple iWatch Ultra. 
and as well as yung AirPods Pro 2 na master copy din na almost the same din do sa original. Na napapabilib lang talaga ako no how they did it and this one is no exception. Almost 90% kaya mong lokohin in ang non Apple user into tricking them that this is the real iPhone. And of course, muling paalala, I'm not promoting any piracy here on my channel, but I just want to share you yung experience ko using a iPhone 14 Pro Max na master copy. And of course, kung gusto nyo malaman kung saan pwede mabili itong phone na to, I'll be placing it on the description box below. But of course, I would highly suggest na bumili pa rin kayo ng the real iPhone 14 Pro Max and be linking up there yung kanyang review. And kung gusto nyo bumili ng cheaper na iPhone, I could still highly recommend the iPhone 11 for 2023 video also up here. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the bell icon para hindi nyo mamiss mga future uploads dito sa aking channel. And ako pala si Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Psychic. Watcha!